Hey, I'm Kevin Burrett and I'm uh, in the middle of Slovakia somewhere at a beautiful camp site in the, in the forest uh, and uh, behind me is my Zempire Atom uh, lightweight one person tent. It's not exactly a camouflage tent you might have noticed but uh, it works and works well despite the colour. So it's a simple looking arrangement if we wanted to come around to the front to the entrance way it's got obviously a uh, extension on the fly that I can bring out as a bit of a stowage for a you know a pannier or two or shoes and socks or bits and pieces I can stow out of the weather or I can just leave it open there and get a a bit of a breeze through the uh, through the uh, screens I'll just uh, open the tent up a little bit I'll just show you it's a a roomy one person um, you can see that it's it's about so wide and it's I'm, I'm almost six feet tall and it's got plenty of space north and south it's also got a heap of headroom I can sit up in here quite comfortably without my head touching anywhere near touching the the, uh, the ceiling gear wise I've got this is a snow gum little snow gum self inflating seat um, it's just an indulgence really, I just like to be a little bit comfortable when I'm sitting cooking uh, so I bring this and it sort of goes in the tent as well with me I've got a pretty simple sleeping bag that's rated down to about minus something and it's, a, it's not an expensive one, it's just a cheap one and it seems to work pretty well the other really important bits of gear this is the most important bit of gear on the bike of course um, I've had a few different mats over the years. This one is a, a climate, KL, K-L-Y-M-I-T mat, and then there's a whole lot of different climate mats. This is the one I chose because it's pretty wide and it's got a little bit of extra length so that you never feel like you're falling off the mat half the night. I had another brand that was a beautiful mat, but it was noisy and I kept on, I felt like I was falling off all night. This one here is not noisy, uh, it doesn't crinkle, like a lot of mats do so that's an added feature you don't wake up your neighbors I also with the same company I also bought one of their high-end XL super large pillows which is one a blow up um, a blow up pillow uh, super comfortable and rolls up into a tiny little uh, bag and weighs about I don't know 50 grams or something like that takes up no space weighs nothing so that's the sort of the, the sleeping chamber. I'll just zip it up to keep the bugs out. There's plenty of bugs around. So that's my Zempire Atom. Um, the downside for bike touring camping is that it's uh, bright orange. You're going to see it no matter where you are. If it was uh, you know, a dark green or grey or something, it might blend a little bit more with the, with the foliage. But there you go, it's orange. That's the colour it comes in. Um, so that's that's my setup. I sleep like a baby in there. I just get in and I fall straight asleep, and I sleep the whole night without any any problem. Uh, rain, hail, or shine. It's been rained on lots of times. It's been out in the wind. I've used this tent a lot, and it's never failed. It's always uh, stood up to the task. So I'm really happy with it. It's not an overly expensive tent, made in New Zealand uh, by Freedom Camping and um, I think it was 200 odd Australian dollars uh, so not overly expensive but reliable works well I'm happy as Larry with it